Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today we're going to talk about the tint property. The tint property is an awesome property, and I'm going to show you all the different things that you can do with it and why it's so good to use. So a couple of things that we're going to cover is how to change the default tint color from the blue to something else, and that's really simple. And then I'm going to show you also how the tint color can affect everything in its view on a view level. And then I'm going to show you how you can use the tint color as a theme and change it on a page controller level or on a global level for your whole application. And how that will help you theme your application so it looks better globally. And then I'm going to show you how to have your images and icons use the tint color too. A lot of people don't know this, but it's very handy to know and it can make your app look so much better and so much easier to control the color scheme for your application. So let's get started. Now, in order to change the tint color, it's pretty simple. Say I have a button on here and it's blue. And let me just hide this here. And to change the tint color, you can either uh, just click here. Oops, and let me bring my color selector down. You can change it here to something else. And as, as you can see, the color of the text changes with it. You know, or you can just change it to uh, something else. You can click on this sidebar and, and maybe you have some recently recent colors that you use, or you can choose some of the pre-selected colors, or you can go back to default if you ever change your mind. For now, we'll just save it as, uh, as, as this red color right here. And that is just on a control level, so I changed it on a control level. And you notice if I drag another button on here, it's still going to be blue. Well, there's a better way to handle this. You can set the tint color on a view level. So now, you see, I have the view selected right here, and if I change the color to this blue color now when I drag controls on here it uses the red color and this can be for anything so that is a way to control your theme for your view controller now say I have another section where I don't want to use these colors well I can just grab uh, put a UI view on there another UI view maybe it's a it's up here and maybe the top half will have a different a different theme. So maybe like because the background color is uh, well, let's see, is a dark darker background color. And for my controls, maybe I want to use this orange color instead. So now when I use other controls on there, like say we put a segment control on there, it uses the orange color, and the orange looks better. You know, it's a lighter color, looks better on a darker color. So you can you can use it that way too. And every control or button that I drop on here will use that new orange tint color. Like so. So tint color is kind of like a uses a hierarchical level of, of what views it affects. Over here on the document outline, this view is the red color. And so all the controls under it use the red color. But on this view, we overrode that red color and we changed it our tint to orange. So everything inside of this view or below this view will use that orange color. Now that's how you set the tint color on views and have it, have it affect all the controls on a view level. But say you wanted to set a tint color on a global level for your entire application. You can do that too. If you click on this file inspector you'll notice there's a global tint so we can change that and if we change it to something like oh I don't know let's let's pick a different a different color that's lighter here maybe you want a uh, a green greenish uh, tint color well you'll notice that it changed the the icons on the the tab bar here and now if I add buttons here it'll use the the global default tint color. Wow, it's a bad color. <laughs> but this is just to give you an idea of how it, it'll look. So that is how you can control your global color scheme or you know global theme that you want to create. You just change it right here for the global tint for all your, your controls. Now the last thing I want to show you too is you can also have a have an image use the tint color as well. So maybe you have icons that you want to use for the user to click on, and you want it to use that tint color, but you don't want to have to go into the image and change the color to match your tint every time. 
Because later you might also change your mind and change the tint color to something else. You're like, oh, I don't like this green color. I want to make the tint uh, back to this red color. And then you have to go through and change all your images. Well, there's an easier way to do that. Okay, I also mentioned that images can also use tint color. So let me show you how to do that. First, we'll need to get an image. And I like to go to my, one of my favorite websites, thenounproject.com, and search for icons here. You can use these icons for free, but you have to give the creators credit. So we'll just pick an icon here. We'll just click this champagne bucket here. New Year's is coming up. And this is from David Marioni. I hope I said his name right. So I'm going to download this. Go and download a PNG. Okay, now we have our image there. And it is right here. I'm just going to rename this to something more memorable. I'll just call it Bucket. And then I'm going to add that to my project. Add to my assets here. There we go. And this image, it also has the credits right on the image too. Okay, we'll put the image on this second one here. And an easy thing that you can do too, instead of adding a, an image control, then setting the image uh, to it, you know, normally like people will, will do this. You know, add image, and then uh, set the image to, you know, the bucket. Well, there's another way you can do that too. Instead, you can just come over here and click on your media library, and it'll have the, the your image there. Whoa, it's huge. <laughs> and then you can, uh, so you just drag and drop it on there like that, and it puts the image inside of it, an image control. We have to resize it here because this thing is really big. Okay, then we're going to set the content mode to something a little bit more manageable here. Let's do a aspect fit. There we go. So there's our image. But there's one thing we have to do before it can use the, the tint color. Okay, now before this image will use the tint, like here, let's run it right now and see what we have. Okay, it's on the second tab. Now notice the image, it's still black and white. How come it didn't use our tint color? There's something you have to do to the image first in order for it to use your tint color. And if you come into your assets, select the bucket, and come over to render as, you need to choose template image. And template image will use your tint color. So let's go back to our storyboard. And there's something else I want to show you too. It's still black and white, right? Well, in design time, it's going to be black and white. It'll only change at runtime. Okay, go to the second tab, and there it is. It's using our tint color for that for that view controller. Or actually, that's our global tint, isn't it? To explain what's happening here, basically, tint will apply to any non-transparent pixel that you have in your image. So this image could have different colors on it, but it'll all be overwritten. All the color data will be overwritten with the tint color. And it will not. the only thing it won't affect is the transparent areas. So that's basically what's happening. So as you can see, this can be very handy when you want to use a lot of icons for buttons. You can globally change the colors of all your buttons all at one time. Okay, that's pretty much all I have for you. In this video, you learned how to change the default blue tint color to another color. You also learned how the tint affects everything in its view. So you can change it on a UI view level and everything in that view will also use that same tint color. You also learned how to change the tint color on a global level by coming here into by coming here into the file inspector and changing the global tint. And lastly, you learned how to change the tint color on images by going into your assets and clicking the image and then changing the render as to a template image. As a template image, it will use whatever tint color you have selected for either the view controller on a view level or on a global level. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing. Bye.